Deputy Speaker. I think we can all agree on one thing. 2021 has been a very challenging year indeed. Challenging not just because the world has had to navigate the ongoing impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also because the flow-on effects to our local communities has been profound and in some cases devastating. I've been heartened in Higgins by the enormous outpouring of support from our local community volunteer organisations. These groups have weathered the pandemic storm and have been a beacon of light, supporting some of our most vulnerable in their darkest of times, and today I want to acknowledge them. Mr Deputy Speaker, each year I have the privilege of hosting the Higgins Community Volunteer Awards and recognise the outstanding efforts of the local unsung heroes of the Higgins electorate. The men and women of our local sporting clubs, Rotarians, scout groups, churches, toy libraries and the many other local clubs who make our community great. This year, 30 individuals were recipients of the prestigious Community Volunteer Awards and were acknowledged for their efforts by their peers at the awards ceremony in November. The story of these community leaders touched my heart and I want to thank all of them for who, uh, all of those who submitted nominations this year. Collectively, our recipients contributed over 260 years of service to their local organisations, which speaks volumes to their ongoing commitment to our community. I want us also want to place on record my sincere thanks to our extra special <laughs> guest speaker, none other than Olympic, three times Olympic um, athlete, including the recent Tokyo Olympics and bronze medalist at the Olympics, Annabelle Smith, who also happens to be a Higgins constituent. Annabelle shared with the volunteers her experience competing <coughs> as a triple Olympian and her admiration for volunteerism in her sport. As an athlete, passionate sportswoman and local champion, Annabelle has spent her career surrounded by dedicated volunteers who've made an enormous contribution to her success. And I want to thank her for joining us on the evening and for being so inspirational. Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to take the opportunity to name the following individuals for this year's recipients for Hansard. Christine McKillop from the Great Valley Road Community, Andrew Othern from Malvern Baseball Club, Jeff Colson from the Murrumbina Park Bowls Club, Deborah Negri from the Currajong School, Kia Nyo and Pham Ho from the Vietnamese Senior Cultural Association, Gillian Manson from Blind Sports and Recreation Victoria, Heidi Sutherland from Paran Cricket Club, Juanita Alden from the Melbourne Special Needs Playgroup, Nigel Stamford from 13th Melbourne Scout Club Group, Julie and Peter DiVertiglielli from Very Special Kids, Ros Crobelin from Mequacare Noel Miller Centre, Francis Clancy from Cabrini, Marcia Fison from Inclusion Melbourne, Lee Matchin from the Probus Club of Melbourne, Claire Valentine from Carnegie Toy Library, Piero Visconti from Joe Care, Herman and Heather Coppins from St James Anglican Church, as well as Elizabeth Oath, Poth in the op shop, Elaine Hillier from Stonington City Brass, David Purcell and Arnie and Judy Maschielli from the Self-Help Self Addiction Resource Centre, Anita Rumba from Vision Australia, Rosie Potazadnik from the Australian Friends of Tel Aviv University, Carleen Coker from the Ashburton Traders Association, Ben Bakari from Vic Malvin SES, and finally, Lil Barrack Macy from the Craig Family Centre. Congratulations to all for your efforts, not just during the pandemic, for, but for some who have literally taken care of their community for decades. The Morrison government will always support our hardworking volunteers, and it gave me great pleasure this week to notify 37 community groups across Higgins that they were recipients of federal funding for volunteer grants. $130,945 will be shared across these groups in a huge boost that will mean they can continue to play their crucial role in society, especially as we move forward out of the pandemic. Mr Deputy Speaker, volunteering helps reduce marginalisation. It increases community participation and importantly, and often not recognised, it provides many with a proven pathway to work. Well done to all our volunteers across Higgins, and I look forward to celebrating with each of these recipients in person very soon as we're hosting a morning tea now that Melbourne is out of lockdown um, early next year, and I look forward to meeting all of them and saying congratulations in person. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Order the question.